Hello, so this question is minimum height trees. So this is the definition. So what you need to do is you want to return the list of all the minimum height tree root. So let's look at this. So, uh, so if this is a uh, diagram, uh, this is definitely be the root, right? Because every single component is connecting to this one, right? And so does this diagram. So this is why you want to return one. All right, so how about example two? Um, this component, this node is connecting to this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, and this one is connecting to this one, this one, and this one, right? So the remaining is 304, right? So if imagine if you want to delete 4. So if you delete 4, 3 cannot connect to 5. So because four, 5 is depending on 4, right? So let's look at another diagram. Just think about this. So if this is, you know, if this is no, and every single component, every single node is connecting to this one, Right, you want to make sure this is the root because you are not allowed to connect this one with this one or this one with this one. Right, this is the center that can connect to every single else. All right, so this is the first example. All right, second example is is uh, if you have two nodes. And then in each node, you're connecting to its opponent, component, which is going to be node. So let's see. Uh, let's see. So this is going to be a two tree node because with all these two, you are not allowed to connect in from here to here or connect it from here to here, right? So again, this is going to be t two for the, for the answer. I mean, two tree root. So again, it could be like this. So I'm going to say, oh, these three component, these three tree node, uh, sorry, these three uh, node is connecting to each other, and then every single you know node is connected to its subtree. Just imagine there's a subtree. All right. So you are supposed to you know keep. Keep this, the minimum node, uh, for the return list, right? You want to return the list of the root, right? So what you can do is you want to build a graph based on the edges, and then you want to calculate the incoming, incoming degree. So this is going to be incoming degree one, incoming degree one, incoming degree one. This is incoming degree three, right? Because just Imagine there's an error, right? Imagine there's an error. F for node two, you are connecting from one to two, right? And this incoming degree is one. And for node one, for node one, your connect connecting node is zero, two, and three. So imagine there are, there's an error. So the incoming degree is three. All right. So again, it's supposed to be like a graph algorithm. So it should be a little bit straightforward, but anyway. So if n if n equal to one, uh, we know our node is starting from zero, right? So if n equal to one, I can just return new array that is list. I can just return zero. All right. Else, I'm going to just build a graph. So the the way I'm building the graph is list of list. Because this is pretty, you know, the straightforward diagram starting from zero and the increment one by one. It's not jumping, it's not starting from different index, but yeah, so this is how it is. So in degree, array is going to be initialized by the size of n. So how, it, how many size of in degree is going to be based on the n, right? So for example, there are n equal to six. From zero to five, there are six nodes. Right, six nodes. All right, and then what I need to do is I want to build a graph, right? So let me see. Public. Uh, again, 
while I'm building the graph, I can also initialize the integrity. So I can just uh, build graph and pass in the n, pass in the edges, and also pass in my graph. So let me just copy this. So I will return the in degree. I will say build graph. I will pass in the n and then pass in the edges. And then this will be straightforward. How do I build a graph? Uh, hold on, let me initial my in degree. So how I build a graph is going to be based on the you know the edges, right? So I'm gonna traverse the edges for in edge edges. Alright, and then I definitely have two points. It's gonna be A and then B. Cool. So um since this is a what undirected graph. So it's going to be bi-direction, right? So A to B is also equal to B to A. So your in degree is going to be increment, right? Mm, from both. So it's going to be graph dot uh, get A dot add B and then you will do exactly the same things. Get B dot add A and then your in degree will increment based on the A in degree or based on the B Okay, so this is how it is, and then before that, we need to initialize the graph, right? So do we have, no, we didn't have initialize, so for in i equals to zero, i less than n, i plus plus, and then I can say graph.add new release. All right, I initialize the graph, I, uh, you know, set out the graph edges, and then I return the in degree. So what I could do is I want to traverse the in degree array and see if the in degree uh, index, you know, in degree i is equal to one. We all we always want to get rid of the nodes starting from in degree one, right? This is a leaf. Your leaf, your leaf has what in degree one, right? So if I need to traverse. I need to make sure my in degree. AI is equal to zero. Then I will have to create a list of integer and leaves new release. And then list the add AI. Alright, cool. So um when we want to return, just imagine like Imagine we kill all the leaf, right? And then once we kill all the leaf, we're going to update the in degree uh, uh, frequency, right? Sorry, in degree count, right? So it was initially what? Four. Four for this one. And I kill it. You should update this to one, right? Four minus three. And this is in degree two, and I kill this guy. And this in degree is equal to one, right? So I will constantly update my in degree. Um, count and then corresponding to the node and then I want to make sure uh, if there's an iteration I try to remove the in degree uh, I'm, I'm trying to remove the leaf and then uh, there's no updated then I want to return right so so while true and then I will uh, initialize my what new leaf you go to new release. At some point, if you know new leaf leaves is empty, I want to return leaves, right? And every single time, uh, I will just reassign my leaf array equal to new release, and then I will traverse based on uh, the the number of the leaf in the uh, in list of integer, right? So. For in leaf leaves, all right. So no matter how many leaf you traverse, what you should do is you want to uh, basically uh, find its neighbor, find its neighbor. So based on leaf, so leaf is what for the, for example leaf is two, 
your neighbor is one, right? So for int neighbor, and it's going to be graph.get at leaf, right? So in this, in this iteration, we're going to remove the leaf, right? So we're going to decrement the in degree. So in degree at neighbor, sorry, neighbor. And then what I want to make sure oh, is in degree and neighbor is equal to one. If this is true, I'm going to add my neighbor into the uh, new uh, new leaf, right? Then I will return. So this is pretty much it, right? So let me run it. O in degree neighbor. Okay, so here's a problem. Um, uh, let me see. So what I should do is I want to make sure I have anything. Okay, I don't have anything. So leave the add. Uh, this is not equal to zero. Come on, it should be a one. Yeah. So that's a mistake. Come on. Uh, let's submit. Cool. So this will be the solution and. This is space, this is space, this is space. All right, so the space is going to be depending on how many edges, how many edges, and also how many um, nodes, right? Edges and nodes, so it's going to be E plus N. So all of E plus uh, N. E, wait, come on. E represent edges, N represent node. And then the time is going to be the same. This is going to be all of N, right? And then build a graph is going to be all of E, right? And in this iteration, it's going to be based on how many, you know, iteration, the, the leaf level you have. So the worst case is going to be E plus N as well. I mean, if E is a maximum, I mean, if a maximum between E and N, if E is a maximum, then you return all of E. If N is a maximum, you return all of N. So the time and space are going to be the same. All of E plus N. So this will be a solution, and I will see you later. Bye.